Ethereum is going through its biggest hard fork update on August 5th and included in this update is EIP 1559 where Ethereum will be burned. This is a big fundamental change to Ethereum and of course in this video I will explain to you what this means. So the date is scheduled for Thursday August 5th but because this is crypto and blockchain it is possible that we may see a delay, but hopefully this video ages well. And because of this major news, we have seen the price of Ethereum recently on fire. Actually, Ethereum has notched a 12 day winning streak, the longest ever. And what happens typically with these types of events in crypto is that we see a major run up on the price of an asset leading up to an event. And then when we see the event actually arrive or be implemented, we see a sell-off. And when it comes to Ethereum, what's going to happen? I really don't know. I am not a trader, I am a long-term investor. So after the hard fork, will Ethereum go up? It's possible, or it can come back down. But if we're dealing with, let's say, a bad project, we can see a run-up prior to an event. And then after, there's a sell-off. If it's a bad project, it continues to decline. But if it's a good project, eventually it picks back up. So when I look at this Ethereum event, I'm not looking at this. This is what a trader looks at. I'm looking at the whole entire chart long term because I believe that Ethereum will eventually surpass its all time high at about 4,300, whether it's this year, next year, or in two years. Either way, I am patient. Well, what's so massive about this update, EIP 1559? Well, right now, when you send a transaction on Ethereum, you have to pay a fee to the miner and it's an auction model. If there's a lot of demand in the market and you wanna send your transaction first, you have to outbid other people and it gets to become very expensive, right? These ridiculous fees and they change very often. One minute you might be paying a fee of $20 and then maybe, you know, next minute, an hour later, you're paying a fee of $150, it's unpredictable. Now with EIP 1559, there will be a base fee part of the transaction and it will be burned, removed from existence, right? So you will pay for your transaction and there will be this base fee, it will be burned. However, for now, miners are still in the picture because there is a tip that you can give to the miner. So you're gonna have the base fee that's burned, but even during times of high network activity, there still will be demand, right? So you have to pay a tip to the miner. And one of the biggest misconceptions about this update is that it's going to make Ethereum fees cheap. This is not true. It will make the fees more predictable, right? So you're not going to be paying $10 one second and then the next minute maybe, you know, $100. It's gonna be more predictable. And also it's gonna be lower, li likely, hopefully, it will be lower than it is today, but it won't necessarily be cheap. But the most important part about this update, long-term, remember, we're not here for trading, we're here for long-term. The most important part is that it's going to change the supply of Ethereum. Because when we look at Ethereum right now, there is no max supply. Ethereum will continue to be printed. So prior to the update, this is what Ethereum would look like. It would continue to go up and up and up. And of course, in crypto, we don't want this. We want something with a hard cap or maybe something that is deflationary. But with this new update, when Ethereum is burned, we may see at times that the supply for Ethereum is actually reduced. So let's say, for example, Ethereum is being printed. There still is no hard cap on Ethereum. This is not changing. But during times of high network activity, more Ethereum will be burned than Ethereum created, meaning the supply will actually reduce. However, it is important to note and clarify that EIP 1559 doesn't make Ethereum deflationary, but it makes it deflationary at times of high demand. Because let's say there's high demand on Ethereum and Ethereum is being burned, but then all of a sudden it cools off. People don't want to use Ethereum. It might start going up again, right? It can go up, it can go down. Of course, this chart is speculative. This is not what it's going to look like exactly. But the point that I'm trying to make is that we will not see Ethereum move up or down in one direction. It will go up and down along with the demand of the market. So as a trader, short term, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Will it pump, will it dump? I don't really care. But long term, I believe with high demand on Ethereum, which will be here, I think it will be here, along with NFTs and DeFi, we will see overall the supply 
of Ethereum reduced, making Ethereum scarce, potentially even a store of value and leading us to Ethereum above its all time highs and who knows how high it can get in the long run. And when we look at Ethereum, we're always asking Ethereum 2.0, when will it be here? Well, actually it kind of is here already because when it comes to crypto projects and updates, it doesn't happen overnight, whether it's Polkadot, Cardano or Ethereum, everything happens in steps. And this is one of the steps for Ethereum to reach Ethereum 2.0. Eventually, there will be no more miners. Eventually, transactions will be faster. They will be cheaper. But right now, as I make this video, there still are miners. Eventually, they will be obsolete because right now, today, you can actually start staking your Ethereum. And there's a lot of confusion when it comes to Ethereum staking. Many of you may have Ethereum and you want to know, do I do it on my own? Do I do it with an exchange? But you're confused. You have a lot of questions. Luckily, I have a video for you that answers all of those questions and clears the confusion. So go ahead and watch this video, link above, also in the description down below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.